so the money grab has ended for now. Again, the money grab was basically people upcharging. So I'm going to tell you how much these boxes cost from a distributor. A uh, distributor will charge you 265 270 a box at most. At most, they're charging you this much for this particular box. And you might be like, oh, how do you know that? Well, because I still have a distributor and I bought a lot of these boxes for my friend. Now, what they were actually selling them for, $500, $600 and whatnot, maybe even more is that's up to you how much profit you want to make i heard alpha investment was selling it for free 80 that's plenty of profit plenty of profit given the fact that you're already paying a subscription right whatnot is one of the places where they just absolutely kill you on price and if they did pull the one-on-one ring i bet you they would steal it they steal Moonbrions, they steal downtowns, they steal 101 Waddles. Anytime there's a big hit, there's a temptation that your whatnot breaker will steal it. It's pretty wild, right? And whatnot will not do anything. They're not going to report it to police or any of that. So the people chasing this card, and this actually was a very bad financial thing for whatnot to do right now because... Again, the chase is over, so they're not really going to make as much money from selling these booster boxes as they thought they would, right, online, because people would chase it. I think the idea is uh, how the professor give away 24 free boxes, and I don't think anyone would, would get, I mean, no one knew that Dave and Ad of all of the people, Dave and Adams makes the announcement, and PSA has it graded. Wizard of the Coast has come out. I mean, this is, a end, this is done, guys. This is a done deal. I know... A lot of you want to say, oh, it's not done. It's it's still out there. And, you know, a lot of these box breakers, their first initial reaction was that Dave and Adams didn't pull it. They just wanted the box price to go down, which doesn't make sense because they also do print plenty of breaks. This is pretty sus. You know, um, I I don't know if when this card was I, – I, I think one of the questions we have to ask ourselves is, do you believe that this was actually in a pack? The way it was announced, the way that it all came out, very weird. Um, I mean, I'm not going to say that because I don't have any proof. I don't think anyone will ever have any proof. Uh, I, I just think there's no proof. Um, there is no proof, right? I. So I'm just going to say what I think happened. I, I do believe that what would make sense to me is that the ring got pulled upon release release date many stores open cards and i don't see why that would be any different from david adams and after release date um they got it graded it still takes time to grade right it's not like they pulled it and announced it instantaneously or it was pulled on live stream and it definitely wasn't pulled on david adams live stream otherwise they would make a huge huge i mean it would be a huge deal, right? Um, I mean, it would be a huge deal for any business, right? That you pulled it live. That's part of the fun is that you pulled it live. So my 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 assumption is is this: they pulled it in privately before the one million dollar bounty. They saw the bounty go to two point one million dollars. Then the question would be, why did no one contact the guy with? twice as high bounty and the answer is because they never had the i mean they never they pulled it they put a hit on it they sold some packs they sold out of their packs and they're done and they were finished that is what i think happened they had very very low prices on these collector's edition in fact you know they weren't while everyone was selling them for 500 600 700 dollars on a break on whatnot uh, David Adams was selling it for pretty reasonable, $400, which, again, is reasonable. Uh, and they're still making uh, so much money from each, each pack they sell. David Adams is a huge, huge buyer of booster boxes. In fact, uh, for a very long period of time, the, 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 way, the way I got in trouble was uh, the booster boxes I have behind me, uh, they were basically purchased at David Adams' buy list, which is, was super high, like 90% of comps.
I I feel in my gut that something kind of shady did happen. And now, is it unethical? I would argue yes. Is it illegal? No. Uh, this is what happens when you do a chase like this. Uh, Wizard of the Coast is well aware of this. In fact, Wizard of the Coast made the announcement. So my my guess is somebody pulled it upon release date when they're trying to crack for singles, right? And then they went to Wizard of Coast. They went to PSA. PSA had to get authenticated by Wizard of Coast because it's a one on one. There's no other way to authenticate it other than Wizard of Coast knowing. And Wizard of Coast, oh, you got pulled. Uh, fantastic. Okay, cool. Get it graded. Yes, that that's our ring. I mean, PSA would lose so much reputation if they graded a proxy ring. It would be ridiculous. They would lose all their reputation, right? But. I, I think Wizard of the Coast had to get involved in some way. Now, I might say in the beginning, but you might say after. They had to be involved in some way in the way that they would... They were always going to be involved in the authentication of this card. There's no doubt in my mind that Wizard of the Coast would not... They, they need to... The only people who can authenticate this card is Wizard of the Coast. And he actually can do that by the serial number of that booster pack. And that booster box. Every booster box has a serial number, which tells you which pallet it came from. Uh, in case you, you wonder to know, um, it's a little printed number. Like on collector boxes, it's a little stamp. It's like a number stamp in black. And they would be able to confirm this is not a proxy because that's the correct box that we put it in. I believe Wizard Coast always knew it was in a box. And maybe they saw such high demand and they told David Adams to keep it quiet for a little bit, you know, and also, also, I mean, it's only beneficial for David Adams. Some shady stuff happened, and that's what happens, one 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 ring, uh, when you have an item that's a one one you have no idea if it's pulled or not, but a lot of people opened boxes and paid a lot of money for these boxes, hoping that they can pull this ring, and they never had a chance. Uh, I don't think they ever had a chance. Especially these box breakers and the advertising. I mean, you look at the advertising as you know, advertiser myself. I'm pretty disgusted by some of the claims people are making. You know, oh, you know, it's definitely in my box. Oh, I'm, it's definitely here. It's, it's weird. Uh, it's a weird situation, and it's something that I, I look at and I say to myself, thank God I didn't do this because it was a terrible, terrible gamble. Um, no way that people gambling felt very good about this, uh, in my personal opinion. I don't think anyone feels good about this, given who actually pulled the card. Who actually released that they pulled a card. It's uh, one of the biggest buyers in the industry. Hmm, very interesting. Very weird. V I mean, very weird how this panned out, in my opinion. Anyway, hi guys.